So it's been a part of the downtown skyline for years. You probably noticed the big building with GE's logo. Yeah, and now the major company is moving. So what happens to the building? Our Brenda Ordonez has more. Now, for the last seven years, the Banks has housed that billion dollar company known as General Electric. That company was actually being housed at the 12th floor building that sits right behind me. But that won't be the case very much longer as the company recently announced that it's getting ready to take down its sign and move out of this space. It's, it's always exciting when you have a, a storied company like, like GE and, and a valued corporate citizen uh, choose your neighborhood as, as their home for their global operations center. In 2016, the bank's spokesperson Tracy Schwegman says she was excited when General Electric decided to open a U.S. global operations center at the banks. That generated additional awareness, additional eyeballs, perhaps spurned additional development um, or interest in, in, in locating at the banks. According to GE, the deal they agreed upon when they opened consisted of a lease term of 15 years. However, seven years into that lease, GE announced it will be closing its downtown operations due to the facility not being scaled to meet their needs as a standalone company. In a statement, GE said, quote, we are proud of our role as a catalyst for development at the banks, and we are committed to working proactively to secure additional new tenants who will continue to bring vitality to the heart of our headquarters region. In the initial deal offered to GE by the city, it included a 100% property tax abatement for the building's developers. We reached out to GE and asked if they owed any money to the city, county, or state as a result of their closure before their contract was up, seeing as development on the building already started. GE said, quote, all of the incentives tied to the building's development were multi-year, performance-based packages, and we only received incentives where we met the relevant requirements. A GE spokesperson did tell Fox 19 that no jobs will be impacted by this move. The company says they are relocating about 250 remaining workers to GE's aerospace headquarters in Evendale. And while GE's presence at the banks brought an economic boost to the area, Schwegman says she's not worried. I think the future is very, fr very bright for, for for that building and you know, the future will continue to be bright for the banks. It's been nothing but positive coming out of COVID and I think the trajectory will continue to go in that positive direction. Now we reached out to the city of Cincinnati for comment and they said that they have been in constant communication with GE during their decision to move out of this space. They say that GE has acknowledged that outstanding financial commitment to the city and is working with city leaders to define that commitment moving forward. At the banks, I'm Bernard Donias, Fox 19 Now.